Well, hi, friends. Guess what? Merry Christmas. Today is Christmas Day, December the 25th of 2023, and we've done it. We've counted down with a story a day from December 1st all the way to now to the big day, the most wonderful day of the year. And I'm so glad you've joined me for all the stories and for the fun um, all along the way. Well, without further ado, here is today's story featuring Mickey and his friends in a story called Santa's Little Helper. It was Christmas Eve and all was quiet. Mickey was almost asleep when he heard a sound in the yard. Mickey ran to the window. Santa Claus was standing outside, and he was sneezing. Santa, what's wrong? Mickey asked. It's this cold. I need to get home to bed. But we still have four houses to visit, Santa said. Gee, said Mickey, maybe Pluto and I can help. We'd be happy to deliver the presents for you. Oh, thank you, Mickey. The magic from my bag will help you, Santa said. Then, setting down his bag, Santa climbed back into his sleigh and went home. Mickey pulled his sled from the garage and hauled it over to the giant bag of gifts. The sled rose into the air, and in no time it landed on Daisy's roof. Holding the Christmas bag over his shoulder, Mickey walked to the chimney. Santa goes down the chimney. Should I try? he said. Before Pluto could answer, Mickey was sliding down the chimney into Daisy's living room. Mickey quickly arranged the gifts under the tree. He was just leaving when he saw the treats Daisy had left for Santa. I'm sure she wouldn't mind if I ate them, Mickey said. When he got back to the roof, Mickey realized he had forgotten to get a cookie for Pluto. I'm sorry, Pluto. I'll get you a treat at the next house, he said. Next, Mickey went to Goofy's house. As Mickey leaned into Goofy's chimney, Pluto grabbed the back of the bag in his teeth and went down the chimney, too. He didn't want to miss getting a treat this time. Pluto, Mickey said, I promised that I'd bring you a... Oh, no, look out! As Pluto ran toward the cookies, he accidentally knocked down Goofy's tree. Mickey fixed it as best he could, but the tree was still crooked. Maybe he won't notice, Mickey said. Mickey very carefully filled Goofy's stocking and placed his presents under the tree. Then he and Pluto went back up the chimney. At Minnie's house, Mickey quickly pulled her gifts from Santa's bag and placed them under her tree. Fixing Goofy's tree had taken a while, and he was running out of time. Mickey's last stop was Donald's house. Uh-oh, he said when he reached into Santa's bag. There are supposed to be four gifts, but there are only three left in the bag. Did I drop one somewhere? As he was looking around, Mickey heard Donald's footsteps upstairs. Mickey grabbed Santa's bag and raced up the chimney. Donald would just have to live without his last gift. The next morning, Mickey's friends gathered at his house. It seemed like everyone had a story about Santa's visit. Santa wasn't quite himself last night. 
Daisy said. He left soot all over my floor. I think Santa bumped into my tree. It looked a little lopsided this morning, Goofy told Minnie. He left one of Donald's presents at my house, Minnie said. He woke me up with all the noise he was making downstairs, Donald exclaimed. Suddenly, Mickey realized he had left Santa's bag by his Christmas tree. But when he went to hide it, all he, uh, all he found was a box with a tag that said, Love, Santa. Inside was a snow globe of Pluto and Mickey riding with Santa in his sleigh. Mickey winked at Pluto. No, Santa Claus definitely wasn't himself last night, he said. Merry Christmas, everyone! Ha ha ha! Well, that's it. There are no more stories. Mm. But if you enjoyed all that stories, you can go back and watch the replay of all the videos. Nothing wrong with that. You could also check out last year's countdown where I did the Peanuts countdown to Christmas for 2022. That series is also available here on the channel, and I do have a playlist for that series, as well as this series also. But it is my hope and prayer that you have, or had, um, a very Merry Christmas. And I hope that as we head into the new year, 2024, that it holds um, many blessings and great things for you. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching this series. I appreciate it so much. And for one last time, pop the like button, leave me a comment below, and let me know that you watched. And have a gobble-tastic day and a gobble-tastic Christmas 2023.